HP's Elite X3 is one step closer to turning a Windows phone into a real PC. Yes, I said Windows Phone. This is the first major release we've seen from Microsoft's failing mobile platform since the Lumia 950 and 950XL last year. It's also the first phone from HP in two years. It's being pushed as three devices in one. An enterprise-grade smartphone, a desktop replacement with the 799 desk dock bundle, and an ultra-portable laptop with the 1299 lap dock bundle. To be very clear, this isn't something meant for regular buyers. But it's still an intriguing glimpse at what could be possible with Microsoft's Continuum feature, which lets Windows Phone power desktops. The phone sports a 5.96-inch 2K AMOLED display and stereo Bang & Olufsen speakers. The Elite X3 seems like a natural evolution of HP's designs from the pre-3 era, with a curved back and a pretty comfortable feel in your hand. There's a fingerprint sensor below the 16 megapixel camera on the back, and there's also an iris camera up front, which is a second biometric authentication method. It's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 820, 4GB of RAM, and 64GB of storage, which is expandable with microSD cards up to 2TB. At 0.4 pounds, the X3 definitely makes its presence known in your pocket. As a mobile device, it's, well, a Windows phone. The platform hasn't changed much since last year, even with a few tweaks from August's anniversary update. So, why build a Windows phone today? HP has a trick up its sleeve called Workspace. It's a virtualized environment that lets you run full Windows apps when using the X3 in Continuum mode with either of its stocks. That's useful because Continuum still has all the limitations as before. It only works with universal Windows apps, and there really aren't enough of those around. You'll have to pay dearly for using Workspace, though. Pricing starts at $49 a month per user, and you'll be limited to 4GB of RAM, 10 apps at most, and 40 hours of usage. Bumping up to the premium tier, which starts at $79 a month per user, you get 8GB of RAM, unlimited apps, and 80 hours of usage. While HP is pushing the X3 as a truly no-compromise, do-everything device, I can't imagine many people or their IT departments would be looking forward to having their software time clocked. The beefy desk dock includes two USB 3.0 ports, one USB-C connection, a full-size display port slot, and surprisingly enough, an Ethernet jack. Once I plugged in the phone, I was astounded at how closely the interface resembled full-fledged Windows. But it wasn't too long before I noticed the limitations. The start menu simply shows you a list of universal apps you've installed, and you can't resize and tile apps as you would on the desktop. It's basically just a slightly nicer way to use one mobile app at a time. Apps like Edge and Outlook ran pretty slowly, and they didn't have all of the features of their desktop counterparts. HP's workspace environment is pretty bare bones at this point. Once you sign in, you can launch apps like Google Chrome, The Office 2013, Suite, Slack, and Acrobat Reader. Workspace has all the issues you typically associate with virtualized apps, though. Things ran pretty slowly, and there's even a delay when typing. While it's nice to have access to full Office apps from a phone, I think most people would rather just carry a laptop. As someone who used to work in IT, the Elite X3 seems like it would introduce more problems for businesses, instead of just giving people multiple devices. Basically, the Elite X3 is pure potential. It's the best app I've seen at making Continuum useful, but right now, it's hampered by Microsoft's disinterest in mobile and the inherent limitations of virtual software.